Hello guys and welcome to the 19th Java tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to talk about how a class can have more than one constructors. Just as we saw in the last tutorial that a class can have more than one objects, just similar to that a class can have more than one constructors. But the catch here would be that each constructor will take different number of parameters so let me just first define and you'll just get along just fine public second class now this constructor is not going to take any parameters at all let's define next constructor this parameter is going to take one this constructor, excuse me, is going to take one parameter, string name, and the third class, second class uh, con uh, constructor, it's going to take two parameters. I'm going to be st string name, comma, string name one okay so this is all about defining now let's just see and consider that we are going to do the same program that we did last time about having girlfriends now constructor is executed just when you create the object so when you create the object for this constructor it doesn't give this constructor any parameters to work on so this means that this constructor has got no girlfriend so let's just print system dot out dot print ln I have no girlfriends okay just make sure I got the spellings right and this constructor takes one parameter that means this constructor has got one girlfriend so system dot out dot print ln name of my girl friend is name and when we talk about this constructor it takes two parameters so it, it has got two girlfriends so let's just put system out names of my girlfriends are plus name and name one so this is how the constructor is going to work but now there are three constructors and one object of this class cannot call all three constructors so for three constructors we're going to need three objects so let's just define three objects second score class obj1 equals new second underscore class and this object is not gonna send any arguments now let's define next object second underscore class this obj okay obj so class obj2 equals new second underscore class it's gonna send one that's one argument that's say ronda and the third underscore class obj2 sorry three equals new second underscore class and it's going to send two 
arguments at Kronda concatenation and Emily so now what's gonna happen when I run there are three objects and there are three constructors now how each object would know which constructor is it exactly dealing with now that's gonna be done by see object one has given no arguments so it's gonna deal with the constructor that has got no arguments now object two has given one argument so it's gonna deal with the constructor that has got two parameters sorry one parameter excuse me now object three has given two arguments so it's gonna deal with the constructor that has gone two parameters so that's how each object would know which constructor actually is it dealing with now when I run this program all the three objects would be created and when these objects are created these constructors would run on its own and as these constructors would run these statements would be printed without any difficulty on its own so that's another use of constructor if you want to print anything default at the beginning of your program you can just put it in the constructor and just when the object of that class is created that message would be printed so let's just print, uh, run it and see what happens okay so when first object was created the first constructor was executed and the statement was printed I have no girlfriend when the second object was created the second constructor was created and then executed having the name with Rhonda so this this statement was printed name of my girlfriend is name that is Rhonda so name of my girlfriend is Rhonda okay so now when the third object was created and passed Rhonda and Emily as arguments the third constructor was created and executed having two arguments naming Rhonda and Emily so when the statement was printed it would give the names of my girlfriends are Rhonda Emily just like this the name of my girlfriend is Rhonda Emily so this is how it works actually when you talk about multiple constructors and that's pretty much it about multiple constructors a class having multiple constructors more than one constructors so let's just end this tutorial right here I'm gonna see you in the next tutorial if you are if you have any questions ask in the comments and don't forget to subscribe I'll see you in the next tutorial.